So, Sean Walsh is playing Inyo de Bingo today, his second time. So, it's a bit of a different one. Our first clip today was spotted by Rob on YouTube. And it's from a video that tells you how to repair alloy wheels on your right. car. Okay. Now, if I'd known what was involved in car mechanics, I would have probably <clears> paid more attention to my own alloys. So they're a bit rubbish, mine. They're all scuffed. Oh, hang on. We're on Facebook Live now if you want to watch us. Do you want me to aim up or down? Up. Okay. But, okay, yeah. I have got a bit of a cold. No, because oh, I've, excellent. I've not got another set of boxes. Fine. Yeah. But um, what I'm saying is you either have wet boxes or you might catch a cold. I'd rather be ill. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather be ill. Excellent. <laughs> All right, then. So, over to the YouTube alloy video. Here we go. Mask off the tyre with masking paper or an old set of playing cards. Remove any emblems. Cover your brake rotor and caliper with paper and mask off your nuts before proceeding with the rim job. Bloody hell. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. no swears, please. Yes. Sorry. But that's allowed. You were just shocked. Because it's an innuendo. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> great, great video there. And mask off your nuts water. before proceeding right. with the rim job. Mm. All about the alloys. <laughs> water, please. Water, please. A classic now in honour of the great Mary Berry. I know, what a national treasure at last night's television awards. Here she is with Paul Hollywood on her Easter masterclass, teaching Paul a trick or two. Slowly to begin with, otherwise it'll come all over me. Like that. Mm. You lucky pop. That's you going over yourself there, that's yeah. not my fault. I'm doing it to me. Yeah. Little problem, problem with the blender they had on that one. Listen to Paul's reaction. You mucky pop. Oh, Mary, you mucky pop. <laughs> Slowly to begin with, otherwise it'll come all over me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, water, please. Mm. Sean Walsh is on Inyo de Bingo. We're going to escape to the country now from BBC Two earlier in the week. Sometimes I do wish I lived in the countryside. There's just so much to see. And here's news of an old monument that's been standing for decades. Also, you might need to reload. Don't be distracted by the name of one of the castles. Thank you. From the fortified medieval manor house of Haddon Hall in the Peak District to the stately Beaver Castle in Leicestershire, the East Midlands showcases an impressive architectural legacy. Here, a modest semi remains virtually untouched since the 1920s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that went down the wrong way. I've so got one spoilt. I've got another burp again. again. Yeah. But it's trapped. Why is this? I've got you, trapped. Why you did this? Last it's trapped time. wind. Yeah, I know. I heard. Maybe it's the maybe it's just the motions of the game that gives you this. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it's, it's probably the association of trying to hold water in your mouth, isn't it? Because that's what you do when you've got hiccups. Oh right. And maybe it's a similar thing. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so let's <laughs> let's go over to Tuesday night's Holby City now. I'm just drinking it. What am I yeah, doing? just right. put it in your mouth there. Pop it in your mouth. Oh, there's an innuendo. Oh, matron. I've got no idea what this character means actually on this. I think it's some kind of hospital speak. Okay. Whatever it is, it sounds painful. From Holby City. Uh, what? Well, I'm just resting my eyes. Ooh. Rest in your eyes, my fat fanny. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting. Oh. I think she meant nah. she was. I think she meant she was annoyed. Oh. Thanks to <laughs> thanks to Jody yeah. for that one. Well, what that was, was that good, from? Good spray. Was... Holby City. <laughs> Tuesday what time night. Is Holby City on? Uh, eight o'clock or something on Tuesday. Right. I'm getting that on the Sky Plus plan. Yes. Water, please. We've got a classic now from BBC Radio Four, and here the presenter has one simple job: to say the name of theatre director. Penny Horner. Let's see how he gets on. In a moment, Libby Purvis meets the archaeologist Deirdre O'Sullivan of the Greyfriars research team which discovered and excavated Richard III. Also, Francis Ross, the great-granddaughter of the engineer Sebastian de Ziani Ferranti. And Penny Horner. Uh, Penny Horner. <laughs> it done so well. Upward spray there from Sean. <laughs> It's yes. done so well. And Penny Horney. Penny Horner. <laughs> <laughs> Correction. Penny Horner. Correction. Water, please. Right. Good spray. We all good? Right, 
Now over to Joanna Lumley, the respected actress, campaigner and national treasure. Yes. Now, Joanna never prepares questions for interviews. She just simply gathers all the facts and then asks the very first thing that comes into her head. Here we go. It's an incredible statistic that nearly a third of all Japanese men are single today. And that perhaps explains the enthusiasm of the audience tonight. Each fan can show just where his loyalty lies, the colour of the glow stick signifying which girl he likes the best. Yuki-san, yes. how often do you come? Um, once or twice a week. Do you? <laughs> 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 Thank you to Wayne for sending that one in. <laughs> you're pretty wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're doing well. Yeah, you, you somehow got it down my back just then, Sean. Oh. It's because he's going Matron. so upward. Matron. Water, please. <laughs> <laughs> you're better than that. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> now, I know there have been cuts across the BBC, but I still think they should have someone to check out what the callers are going to say before they go on. Listen to this from BBC Radio Norfolk. Uh, phone, text, email the programme now. Bernie, good morning. Morning, young man. Good morning, good to have you on. Give me give me a favourite TV programme. Well, first of all, I'll, better, I'll give you the number on my tally. It's just 120, which I press regularly every night at 7 o'clock. Porn stars. All the way from Dallas, Texas. Porn stars? <laughs> yeah, but it's, oh, you haven't seen it then. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> it's his favourite. Porn stars. All the way from Dallas, Texas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they weren't expecting that. No, they weren't. Right, so, were they porn things? P-A-W-N, oh. obviously. And finally, a classic from a BBC cooking show. Yes. Poor Hollywood's Pies and Puds. And here's a really vital tip that I think we should all play pay very close attention to. Paul's asked me to get a really good strawberry, so I've come to a local farm shop. I'm looking for some strawberries that are not too ripe, because if they're too ripe, they won't set, but not too small either, because if they're too small, then all you're going to get is a load of seed in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and that was Sean Walsh in your under bingo. Got me. Good game today, lads. Thank you very much. Sean, good luck with your tour, your big, big tour. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.